Hey guys, I'm up here in Canada and I'm at a cottage which is experiencing some ice damming so I thought I would show you what it is and uh, what it looks like. So in this particular situation, I'm up here, up here on the roof, the three, three season cottage, they have very minimal, if any, insulation in the attic space. And what they have instead, to vent that air out, they have these roof vents here which suck the warm air out of the house, up into the attic, and out the roof. Which is fine in summertime, but because this is a three season cottage, when I have the heat going on the inside, it comes up through here, and as you can see, it's melted all in here. I don't know if you can see all the way down or not, but there's pretty much a trail that runs all the way down to the edge of the roof. And, ca and causes that ice that I first showed you there. And actually, you can look over here. There's another one buried, which the sun hasn't quite broken through. But if I dig it out just a little bit, you can still see. It's a vent that vents out the warm air from your attic, which is okay, but because this is a three season cottage, you don't have any insulation or very minimal insulation in your attic. So all that warm air that I currently have on the main level is going up right through the attic into your attic space, venting out the vents, and that hot air is getting trapped underneath the snow, causing the snow to melt all around it. As you can see here, that cavity, which runs almost all the way down to the roof line, um, it will, the water will run down the roof, hit the eave where it gets cold again because it's not in that attic space, refreeze usually in the form of an icicle just off your um off your drip flashing there but you give that half an hour an hour it starts to build up to the attic space until it no longer freezes again then it will sit on top of that ice dam that's created and push up through underneath the the shingles usually and that of course can cause a whole bunch of issues it can cause rot to your sheathing it can usually causes your uh, soffit and fascia area to rot quite quickly, all the framing behind there. Worst case scenario, it works itself behind your siding and down your wall and you don't notice it until five, ten years later when all of a sudden your house falls apart. <laughs> That's one thing to watch out for is uh, in your three season cottage, make sure, that, make sure the attic space is insulated if you do plan on using it in the colder months. Um, the only reason I'm up here now is to check on it and I left the heat on because I'm here for the full week and there's two feet of snow that's built up on it. It's a lot of weight for your house to support so I thought I'd clear it and I found all the, all the ice built up there at the eaves. So hope this video was helpful and uh, kind of gave some definition to what ice damming is. Thanks for watching. Hey, I thought I'd add this on the end of the video here just to show you what it actually looks like. I got the rest of the roof cleared off, so now you can actually see the ice dam, see the shingles. And you can actually notice on the ice dam, because the water freezes from the furthest point inwards, where it's the coldest, to where it gets warmer. So there's a bit of a dip, a bit of a gully in this ice dam. And that's what the water will sit on. I brought a water bottle up here. So I don't know if you'll be able to see there or not what happens, but as the snow melts and the water drains down the shingles, you can begin to see it pile up right here. What can also happen, it can work itself behind the ice itself, drain off the shingle and out the bottom if the temperature is high enough for it to drain out. If it doesn't drain out, it will freeze like an icicle and then it will be blocked up however high it takes until it can get on top of the ice and, and drain down. So the problem with that, you can end up with two, three, four feet of where it's just filled that cavity. It can't go anywhere else, so it just continues to fill it and it gets up behind the shingle and exits between, the, between your sheathing and the underside of your shingle. And that's obviously a, almost worse because it can go higher up not just past your eve, but however long it takes until it finds whatever exit it can find. So hopefully that helps visualize it a bit more. Time to head inside.